सो हाई गाइज रिसेंटली आई हैव पोस्टेड अ पिक्चर ऑफ डिसेंडिंग पेरिनियल सिंड्रोम रिपेयर इन अ पेशेंट ऑफ इन अ पेशेंट हुआ फिफ्टी टू ईयर ओल्ड पोस्ट मेन अपॉजल एंड हैड हिस्ट्री ऑफ रेक्टल प्रोलेप्स शी वॉज ऑलरेडी हैज अंडर गॉन अल्टीमाइज रिपेयर वेर दे रिमूव द सर्जन रिमूव द प्रोलेप्स पार्ट दिस वीडियो इज स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट हाउ दिस डिजीज हैपन्स एंड वाई दिस पेशेंट्स हैव द सिम्टम्स so now if you see this is the uh, the image that you can see the uterus you can see the bladder you can see the rectum and also that you can see is the sacrum so if the anatomical position i see the sacrum this straight is told sacrum is going to be uh, like this and the entire pelvic floor you can see this is the levator ani muscle you can see the pelvic floor this is the levator ani muscle and the beauty of this levator ani muscle is the last part of this levator ani is formed by the levator plate if you can see this is the levator plate and this levator plate is uh, handling the entire pressure that is going to come from the abdomen and going to support the entire pelvic floor but what happens in few patients there is going to be a deficiency of this levator ani plate and also this valdez fascia that is going to be there this valdez fascia is the retrorectal fascia that is going to be between the sac there between the sacrum and the rectum so the problem what happens here you are going to have a defect of this fascia and this defect of the fascia is going to change this angle can you see this is the anorectal angle and it is supposed to be acute angle here if you have a defect of this fascia this entire per perineal uh, uh, pelvic floor is going to bulge out and when bulge bulges out because of this defect of the fascia the rectum is going to be like this so it is going to come like this and if when it comes out like this you can see the acute angle of the rectum that is there will be converted into the obtuse angle of the rectum and the rectum will be like this so this angle is totally gone so what happens next is this rectum is going to have rectorectal intussusception it is going to get thrown this the proximal fold of the rectum is going to be thrown in the distal fold of the rectum and this uh, uh, into susception is something that is going to cause patient pain this into susception start at one point and slowly slowly if it is um, uh, untreated so it is going to uh, progress so what happens when this into susception is there patient is going to complain of having feces in the rectum and they feel like they are having constipation and they generally go to gastroenterologist to get the treatment but the problem here is they have don't have any functional uh, constipation they take to take treatment for 3 months 6 months and it is not treated and also when they stand they have pain so this if there is no functional constipation they are not going to be relieved slowly what happens these patients will continuously having this intussusception and slowly slowly this entire rectum is going to come out in the form of rectal prolapse so this is the basic idea of uh, descending perineal syndrome you can diagnose this by doing the mri defecogram where patient is uh, uh, in the mri machine mri uh, center they take the basic film and then they ask the patient to strain as if they are defecating so if this perineal uh, or a pelvic floor descends more than 3 cm if it descends more than 3 cm that means it is a positive sign for descending perineal syndrome so what do we do in this perineal descending perineal syndrome and uh, one more thing i need to add that they not uh, they generally don't have the symptoms of defect in anterior compartment that is in the defect of denonvillis fascia and pubo cervical fascia they don't have defect here they have defect only in the posterior compartment so generally they don't have descent of the uterus or cystocin or rectocin so what we generally do to, to uh, repair this we dissect the rectum para, uh, in the para, from the pararectal space we dissect till you can see these nerves you can see these nerves so this nerves are come, going to come from the lateral side so we generally dissect from the right side of the rectum uh, one side of the, the uh, rectal pillar is totally dissected left side is spared so that the neural uh integrity of the rectum is maintained and patient will have normal continence then we place a mesh sorry l shaped mesh l shaped mesh is always like this so this part of the 
uh, uh, the mesh will go on the uh, levetrana muscle and this part of the mesh will be attached here on the uh, rectum on the rectal fascia uh, going to repair the levetral uh, going to repair the levetral uh, plate and the valdez fascia and it is going to get connected here at the uh, sacral promontory and that's how you repair and once this entire thing is repaired you won't have rectorectal intussusception and hence it is if it is repaired properly on day one patient is going to be relieved of the pain so that is the anatomy of the rectorectal intussusception or descending perineal syndrome